This stone represents the continual presence and glory of God that will forever occupy sanctuary of praise, church of God in Christ. We remember the words the Lord spoke to Solomon at the dedication of the temple of God. He said, I've heard thy prayer and thy supplication that thou hast made before me. I've hallowed this house which thou hast built to put my name there forever, and mine eyes and my heart shall be there perpetually. Jesus caused us to see the significance of a stone set apart, which is often referred to as a rock. He asked the disciples who they thought he was, and he said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Then Jesus answered this declaration by saying, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell should not prevail against it. So today, in honor of our Lord Jesus Christ, we dedicate this stone of remembrance. May we always remember that in our service to the Lord we also are stones, lively stones, having built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. This stone today stands as a monument representing our faith and that we are steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. And because these are the words of our Lord, we declare today that God has spoken and let the church say, Amen. Amen. At this time, I'm going to ask Elisanne and El Stegar if they would do the unveiling.